welcome to another happy hour with queer things. We have the artist, Tamsio Sono, Paul Tusi's mommy, Mari Maker, the main closet gay. <laughs> if you do that photo <laughs> on Instagram, every time I get closet gay. <laughs> the scully, the lady, the lady scully. Yeah, welcome, Laura. The first thing we have to ask is what your preferred pronouns are. She, her, cool. It. It's is gone. fine with me too. Yeah. But I don't. <laughs> this is Laura's chosen cocktail. I'm of a certain age where I've had many types of alcohol. And I'm not someone who really likes drinking all the time. Pop suck propaganda. But if you're gonna drink, I think tequila should be a good drink to drink. And I just have it as shots and then I drink like a liter of water in between my shots. Yeah, I turn up very responsive nice. Because nice. wow. I'm vain, I'm light skinned, and sometimes if you're light skinned, you can see a hangover. So before we make a cocktail, we're mm. gonna do a little ice break on. Red. R E D. Five. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Three. One, two, three. Two. What is your kink? Voyeurism and also quite recently foot stuff. I used to have a little foot like a gecko. Just one. <laughs> no, oh, I have two little feet. <laughs> and I never thought it was like a thing. And then I got with someone who was like, your foot is so pretty, can I put it in my mouth? And I was like, I mean, if you have to. Yeah, and now I took a couple of pedicures. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, it's it's adding feet. Things are underrated. Mm. Like to suck toes and to have your toes sucked is a thing. To make money off your toes is the way forward. Some people put their feet together like a thing, then they put cream in it and you can yeah. Yeah. Put job! Yeah. <laughs> Let's make this That's cocktail. Great. This is gonna be a fancy paloma though. Because okay. we're adding lots of bullshit that isn't really part of a paloma, Super. right? A paloma is soda water, grapefruit, tequila, sometimes a little bit of simple syrup. I made an ice cube from Grenadilla. I'll do for you also. Thank you. Oh, you yeah, have to, you. it's fair, life okay. is fair. When you're making money, then life is fair. Yeah. When you're broke, <laughs> then life is not fair. I made a gooseberry uh, susati. Mm. Very fancy. Very fancy. Oh, fancy. So the other day, I had my nails done. Then I said, uh, can I make these two fingers a little bit shorter? So then she said, why would you do that? And I literally just looked at them like this. What do you think? Until it dawned on everybody, and they were like, the oh! they were like, the only other person who does that is Tandiswa Mazwa. Oh, wow. My sister told me some people have it as a fetish, like they want to be scratched from the inside. I'm sorry, guys, like, but I'm not trying to get acrylic it. in my tutti. This is a lovely tequila, which is actually one of the cheapest ones, cheaper than. The first question we start with is can you tell us if you had some kind of coming out, particularly as it pertains to family? My father always said, bring me any man, a white man, a black man. A woe man, any man <laughs> but a policeman. A lot of people aren't blessed like that. Some people, their families are really messed up. But my family was like, just give us anyone who is not gonna be violent and mess you up. So that is some grapefruit soda, which yeah. is basically in place of grapefruit juice and soda water. So yeah, and like it has a bit of more nice. uh, sweetness in it already. Yeah. So you, as an artist and an activist, you call people out, you hold rappers accountable, you hold the art industry accountable, you just hold media also accountable, and you hold like a mirror to society with your art. Do you ever like fear that people are gonna hold things against you like past yeah. receipts or like past hookups I don't think there's really things that I have to hide or feel mm. weird about or anything like that I really did um, treat an ex-boyfriend quite badly but you know he's a man and I'm sure he's fine now <laughs> and, are you talking about how we hooked up or what? no I'm not <laughs> she was gonna blackmail me I guess he scammed me okay next question you outed yourself with a lot of like sexual history experiences on your Twitter. Oh, did you, you like that thread? Did you guys like that thread? It was yeah. great. My favorite was white woman tasting like a handful of coins. Even though they're hot and they look like Justin Bieber, which is my type, Justin Bieber with a vagina, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't drink water. You should always drink water. I have been five years clean, almost six years clean, of pink dick, but it did take me a little longer with pink pussy. It was like, ooh, ooh, ooh swimming, mm. swimming, swimming. Mm. And then I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Angela! If you could school the future or the youth of the future, what would the lady scholarly message be? Know what you like, because then other people can't force what they like onto you. They over-sexualize us already, mm. as young girls, already, you know? Mm. People used to call me Ruyak Skinky, yeah. which means when an ostrich is in heat. Adults in school used to say this shit to me, sexualize me when I was like 11. And I think mm. that my mother really it's raised like two very wild ass bitches. So for us being okay. wild, it does make certain types of energies hone in on you. Mm. And and I think that you should be very careful in going along with what other people tell you. Um, if you're young and you're resistant and you just go, no, actually I have my entire life 
to figure out what I want, mm. who I want, and how I want it. Mm. Um, you can protect yourself from a lot of stuff. Don't let other people be your guide. Put your little mirror down there and see what you like. And you once you know what you like, other people can't just say, this is a standard thing. Because mm. I think that's what a lot of abusers and people who take advantage of young people who aren't maybe as worldly or they don't have as much experience, they take advantage of the fact that other people look up to them and assume that their, their experience yeah. is the standard thing. Mm. And I can't tell anyone what they really like, especially mm. if it's violent and if it's decrepit and gross and seedy mm. and whatever. And I've had many of those types of experiences when I was young. And shout out to the good Lord. Shout out to my period, mm. who saved me twice when I was young, hey. um, from very violent kind of um, things that could have happened. Don't be taken advantage of. And understand the nuances of violence and how people can use fake experience to hoodwink you. Or, yeah. you know, find out what you like yeah. in your own time and you'll be fine. I know a bit of like your sexual history and that you've been with a lot of like different people. But how do you now, <laughs> Laura, that's like grown and making decisions and seeing what you like? I How haven't I been with that many people. I make a list. Please add me that book there. <coughs> I'm gonna okay. count now. No, count. This yeah, is count. a live no, count. 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 It is. 20 men and 1, 2, 3, 4 women. Oh, oh, five women. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, why not? You know what this list? Do you have been there? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna add you on there. <laughs> five women. Ah, 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 don't come ask questions you don't want answers to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering how you identify now yeah. having had experiences and knowing what you like. I do date a lot of men, um, and often men are very weirdly weird about women who love other women this one girl who's super problematic and she's already had her little downfall <laughs> she used to have these like uh, lesbian parties and then she would book me to come and dj and the lesbians hated me and then when i'm on the stage i'm like then all of a sudden everyone's like yeah you know and then when i'm off the stage everyone's rude again and i i used to think it was just maybe it was just me or then i was like oh it's because i'm a bi bitch biphobia is rife in the lesbian community yeah. Yeah. yeah it is sometimes harder to be with specific type of women because I find myself to be quite very feminine or whatever mm. you understand femininity to be mm. um, and then I'd be weirdly put into this role where I'd have to take this weird mask yeah. mm. role which is also mm. weird you know I like wearing Nike and big tracksuits but yeah. it's like it mean I'm a lady to too <laughs> and I think it's it's just been harder for me to find maybe a man who doesn't mind you sometimes mm. smooching a lady which mm. is something that I need do you have a celebrity crush? Um, I have many. Can I start? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bonang's foot that has the stars tattooed onto it. So not Bonang per se, but the foot with Another the stars. Foot. Mal Bala. Nakane. Nakane is a difficult one because um, he's always like rejecting me. Loiso Mdinga. Because he's like really small. So it doesn't make me feel too hectic. This is my Glamour Woman of the Year award tell us about um, yes. for 2019. Yeah. <laughs> this is my GQ okay, woman. Please, please tell us about Man that. and woman. I was GQ's Woman of the Year of Men. That and then this is up. my favorite mm -hmm. one. It's called the Mbokoto Award by um, Carol Bauer and Shadow Twala. They are black. They gave me cold hard cash, an 11 year old champagne, and a great ass night. They yeah, gave about. me a hair straightener, and GQ gave me a free sample of Dove. Thank you so much, Laura. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.